We head back out to Little Mount Lavender in Simpsonville, Kentucky, where Elle has been spending the morning getting a peek at everything that they are rolling out for the spring season. Elle, I am insanely jealous that you were out there today. It has been so fun uh, to see the new products from the cafe uh, to the items in the store. That's what's so great about Little Mount Lavender is everything that they sell, everything that they make is made right here on site at Little Mount Lavender. We have gone behind the scenes today, yeah. putting me to work. <laughs> yeah, and you feel like making your first crepe? Yes, okay. I I love crepes. I've actually never made one before, but All I know right. they're absolutely delicious. So he's going to put Excellent. me to work and we're going to do this. And actually our kitchen associates, Max and Zach, are going to help her. Right. Like I said, we teach and train at this store so everybody becomes an expert in their department or wherever they're working so let's get her done Alrighty. who's gonna move over there we go Max has one done there and so does Zach so go ahead and flip that one set her up you can flip that one All right. let's see how she does go what ahead you, what you'll do is you'll take your edge okay There it's we go. It's as simple as that. Woohoo! All <laughs> right, give her a pan and let's set her up. Zach? All right. All right. I'll walk you through it here. You just right. want to get as dead center as possible with that scoop. What I'll do is I'll scoop it in there for okay. you and you get ready to move it around. All right, and we're. And you're going to want to get that moving quick because it is cooking. So you want to get that all around the edge of the pan just like that. Perfect. You want to get that on the seams of the crepe pan there, so once it cooks down, those edges will start to pull apart, and it makes it easier to flip. Look at that. Mm -hmm. She's got the I'm crepe pan under control. Yeah, you're, you're there already. And so how do I know when it's done? So you'll know when to flip it when the color starts to change and you see those edges pull up. Okay. It makes it a lot easier to flip, and then once you got it flipped, it's 30 seconds to a minute. You'll see some color on the other side, and you're done. So it's, it's very similar to a pancake, but it's yes. really bubble like a pancake. Exactly. It's just a pancake without the leavener in there. Okay. It's basically the same recipe, except we just don't use any sugar because we're using them for savory purposes. Gotcha. So it looks like it's almost ready here. It looks like yep. the edges are. Mm -hmm. Yes, once you see it start to yellow and you see those edges pull, go ahead and start to scoop. Get underneath there, get to the middle, and you'll get a good flip. There Perfect. Looks yeah. great. Right. Right. great. See. <laughs> Oh, and what do you top these with when if someone uh, wants to Actually, we're here? doing a shrimp crepe now. A shrimp so crepe? So with a shrimp crepe, it has the shrimp, it has our bechamel sauce, and a really cool product out there, a horseradish cheese. Yeah. So it actually serves out well, and it comes with couscous and vegetables. Oh my goodness. And the couscous is right in front of your pan yes. because we use our Little Mount Lavender custom pots and pans, yes. even in this kitchen. So you definitely have so. to check them out this spring, all those new spring items, and of course have lunch here. Uh, get a sweet treat for the road too. So out here in Simpsonville, visit them today, especially during that sale too. Back to you, Claudia.